This paper presents the redundant perception and state estimation approaches developed for an autonomous race car to limit the consequences of sensor failures. The following video shows the real-world performance of the race car. This is looking good. Really zooming now. Very nice past us. This is going to be a quick lap time from Zurich. A major challenge is to find the correct path through the cones when the map is unknown. Without color information, the path might be ambiguous. To be fully redundant and robust to single sensor failure, we developed position and color estimation for both stereo camera and LiDAR. The cones in an image are estimated using the state-of-the-art YOLO v2 algorithm. Rough 3D position estimates are obtained by regressing key points and exploiting the prior knowledge of cones. A precise estimate is then provided by triangulating the cone patches with feature matches from ZIT. The LiDAR pipeline first accumulates raw scans and compensates for motion distortion. The point cloud is segmented into bins and the ground is estimated and removed. On average, 64% of cone points are removed as well. This is overcome by clustering points and reconstructing cones. The intensity patterns of points in the point cloud depends on the reflecting object. A convolutional neural network is used to estimate the colors based on this information. A particle filter based SLAM algorithm is used to fuse the redundant perception pipelines illustrated using data from the competition. The map shown corresponds to the most likely particle at a given time instance and can therefore jump. At this time instance, the camera sensor is disabled and the system is still able to find the cone's colors up to a distance of 5 meters. When a loop closure is detected, the track boundaries are computed and the algorithm switches to localization. The following sequence shows data from the competition. The top right graph depicts the GPS velocity in yellow. The bottom right shows the slip ratio estimation in red. The car hits a bump at this instance and the slight drop in the rear right wheel speed is captured as slip ratio. Now the GPS velocity starts to drift. It is rejected by the drift detection until the time it corrects itself back. Steep spikes are outliers of the GPS velocity and are rejected by both outlier and drift detection. 